Okay, just as I promised, I'm back with part two of this demonstration. Mm-hmm. Ready, set, go. Oh, I have to find it on my other device. Let's see. I hate having to bounce in and out, but I got to take care of my equipment. You know what I mean. There we are, live. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is find um, my little dots that we had created earlier in the first video. Should I review that? Let's review that. So we're going to do show you guys how to find the widest part of your um, cup uh, when you're on a curved wine tumbler. And so I will bring the camera back down and have to unplug it real quick hang on hang on thank you laura thank you thank you thank you oh this one is hot okay so to just as a refresher to find the widest part of your round curvy cup or the hip have something straight up and down which is this alcohol um bottle and so that point is your widest part um i have already pre-made some little dots and that's where they hit. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. What is up with the camera? Oh. Oh. No, you didn't see. Um, but that's where that hits. So you can make some hooks. You can um, put some tape. You can find a perfect little container in the kitchen. Turn it upside down. Find the height turn it, make that line. That's how I made this line. I have a perfect dish in the kitchen. Um, but to find that line, then you're going to measure with your post-it note because it's kind of a nice temporary stick um, and put some dots. And that way it gives you a nice little guideline of how far down to go with your to find that little center part or the widest part of your cups there. Just like that. So that's going to be my guideline of where um, this first row, I want the first row to be on the widest part of this cup to make the nicer fill pattern, which is gonna use more fillers, which is going to like take longer and cost more. But when you have a client that says, oh, I don't care, just fill it, then you can totally do this. Start from the bottom, go up, you're gonna have the larger gaps but it looks just fine. It looks totally fine. Oh, let me turn that flash off. We're going to die this camera. I'm going to kill this guy. Okay, put the plug back in. Very good. All right. So, and with that, yeah, I wanted to come from this way so I don't put my hand in the glue. And yes, we're back. So thank you guys for joining me back so I can reset my camera. Um, and now the rows that I'm about to create will not match these rows over here. It's going to be a lot tighter over here. I'll have more rows, and then we're going to count that um, to show you guys the difference as well. Um, so that's in the, the fill pattern I'm going for now, showing how I use the fillers, the smaller stones for fillers, to make this pattern nice and uh, super tight um, and looking good. Um, that's a good question, Miss Richardson, and I'm going to have to say yes. Uh, but give me another couple of weeks to get through with some projects that we're working on and I'll make another run to the warehouse and make you guys some more goodie boxes. But go ahead and put your email in that notification box because um, that's who's going to get the update first. And that's, of course, with um, a new app on our, um, our uh, website that everybody's going to get that notification. If you sign up to get um, once we hit the inventory button, it's going to send you an email and uh, let you know that it is in stock. And I usually wait like 30 minutes um, for everyone to get their, their order in and then I'll post live. Um, but with the goodie boxes on that next run in a couple of weeks, I will probably just hit the update button on the inventory and give it like a whole day to let you guys get your orders in because that sold out in like 12 minutes. And we did it like what, three times? It kept adding and kept adding and so yeah. So we got to give just a little time to get caught up on our July 4th orders that are still going out. Our pre-sale comes in next, and um, that might be great for the August 1st. Of course, we're going to do something um, 
for July 17th. So keep your eye open for something for July 17th that we're working on. And then for the end of July, we'll do something special for you guys. So even though I have a line drawn, I'm going to keep looking to make sure that it looks nice and straight. You, if you look down the barrel of your gun or down the barrel of, of your line, you can see if there's a stone that's out of whack. You can see that that's not straight. So many people say, how do you get that first line straight? And I just don't have an easy answer besides you look at it. And if it doesn't look straight, it ain't straight. So you got to keep nudging, keep nudging. And then once you get it straight, it's good to let it sit. So that if you, as you put the next row on, you don't nudge it and mess it up. But I ain't got time for that. We're going to keep going. All right, looks good. Sometimes you're going to use little fingernails, kind of move them around like that. There's... 20 different days to do everything. Oh, awesome, Laura. You got to your orders shipped. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Susie has been incredible with those orders. So now to speed things up, you saw how I did dots over here. I'm going to just do lines because these will be super close together. And um, I'm okay to do a line because they're going to be so close together. And I don't have a particular way, reason why I start where I start. Um, keeps you guessing. I like to do things different every single time. It keeps you from being the definition of insane. So, a little crazy, never hurt anybody. But, no insane. Alright, so now, my uh, stone... Is not quite fitting, so that's going to let me know that it might not be so straight right there. Because that's not really where my pattern is supposed to go off. There we go. So it wasn't quite straight. So that second row is usually a good teller of if your rows are straight. And that's much better. Now, I'm going to keep going. So these, these little gaps are going to get smaller because we're going smaller. And that's the same in both directions. It's going to get smaller going this way. So I'm going to have to use a 16 down here somewhere and possibly even two. Let's see if I can get how far I can get. Okay, Renee, thank you for stopping by and joining us. All right, so this one's already getting off. So I'm going to move him over and he fits perfect in there. And I'm going to grab a 16 and put it in the center of this gap. I'm not pushing it. Let me get real close. I'm not going to push it up into that little nook. I'm going to keep it in the center of this row. And that will visually camouflage this gap. Because the tables, the top facets of these stones, will all be lined up perfectly. And it won't stand out. So I'm going to keep doing that. So my next row fits just fine or my next stone fits just fine sometimes it's two or three and then a filler just depends on the curvature of the cup different manufacturers will have different angles it's not going to ever be the same so this one is I can already see the gap so I'm not even going to place that down I'm going to go ahead and put the 16 in the center there just like that And I'm going to go ahead and put another big guy out here just to show. You're so welcome. Yeah, for sure, you guys. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't know why I start with the middle. Like, I don't know why I do that. I don't know. Just to keep you guys guessing, I guess. And probably going to need, so, and when you have fillers, if you don't want to see that repeat, that step and repeat, you can choose where to put them. If you want to put one right to the left of the other or, and then do opposite. I usually like to go do mine diagonal. That way it doesn't make this, it'll, it'll make a visual um, line. And sometimes that can stand out. So you can even adjust where you put your fillers and what direction you want them to go. 
when you get really down to the nitty-gritty nitty of being really detailed of this stuff. So I'm going to do this one is fine for here and put that 16 right there. So it's still down the center of that gap. Awesome, Cheryl. No, it's no problem. We just had so many questions on how to do this. So I thought I would come in here and, and try to help. I hope I don't confuse people, but it, it is not an easy task for sure. And hey, if somebody has a better way, I'm all for it because we do this a lot and I'm always looking for a better way. All right, make sure those are nice in the center of the gap. I'll come closer. So this is your filler, and it need, this one right here, it needs to be in the center to have all those tables line up with each other. I'm actually going to come back down. There we go. So not too bad. Not too bad. This color is so pretty. <laughs> Duh. It's just so pretty. Um, Alexandria, we're just doing different fill patterns for this curve to get this uh, super nice fill pattern um, in this particular way. I do start in the middle and then go out each direction. Yes, but I showed different ways earlier in the uh, previous live. This is part two. So this part right here is part two. Okay, Beverly, no worries. We will see you soon. I'll be back on here probably tomorrow. Oh, maybe not tomorrow. Uh, Laura, this color is called Heaven Light, and it is a is in our Kira Kira stones, and it's really a pretty. I'm really happy with this color, and I'm happy to demonstrate it for you guys. These are not; these are Kira Kira glass rhinestones. I don't know of a color that is even similar. In Swarovski. That's kind of why I'm really intrigued about doing all these other um, versions of, or not versions, but other kinds of rhinestones because there's, there's like a whole world out there. There's other colors, there's other textures, there's other things, and it's just opened up a whole new world for me, and I get to do it with you guys. So that's kind of cool. All right, so on my next one, I don't want to put the 16 here because I want it to kind of be zigzag, not a straight line. And then that way your eye might not see it as close. Oh, good. Yeah, you're so welcome. I'm here to answer the questions. Definitely. Okay. There we go. There we go. <gasps> hey, Wendy and Poppy. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you guys check out Crystal Parade over in the UK. For sure. We miss you guys. I hope y'all are all right, too. And um, depending on... What happens, Susie has a, a full paid ride to the UK whenever she's ready to go do a show over there. But I don't know if there's going to be any shows. So you guys will get to hang out with her for a while. I am going to enjoy my break from travel. I spent 120 days on the road last year. Even more than that, I think, if I actually add it all up. Um, so I'm enjoying not going anywhere and I have no plans to go anywhere. There you go. Hi, Kelsey. I'm wonderful. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And Alexandria, um, yes, if it's a tapered tumbler, same thing. I wouldn't start in the middle of a tapered tumbler. You can either start from the top and go down or the bottom and go out. And this is the bottom out. So you will have some spacing that kind of starts, it'll start to get spread out, which is an okay pattern. It's not bad. Um, but if you start from uh, the top and go smaller, you will have some fillers that you'll need. You sure will. Um, let's see. Teresa says, can you go over how to sign up for whatever you were talking about? Oh, Teresa, whenever um, we have something that's out of stock on the website, there will be a little button that's it's below the out of stock um, notification that says email me. And then you just put your email there, and when so we get it back in stock, once the inventory system um, sees the new inventory, then it's going to send you an email. So you guys get the first notifications that something is in stock. Um, yeah. That's all that was, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. 
All right, so I'm going to zigzag this filler. And it's going to be a part where I'm going to need two, and I think it just happened, two of those 16s. Sometimes you can even put a bigger one there, but I'm not going to get in all that. I'm going to put two 16s here. We do all kind of advanced fill patterns when the client is that particular. All right, and I think, I think, hi Nicole, good to see you, thank you for joining. So yeah, now I need my little 16 filler. And can I fit another 20? I can. Good, so my little line of fillers is actually on a zigzag. It's from here to here, over here, back down. So it does a little zigzag instead of all one line it's going to camouflage it much nicer being in a zigzag like that. And over here is a zigzag as well. So just think, if this was actually painted a nice um, soft yellow color or a glitter, I mean, check that out. What if my nail polish was the background? You would barely even see any of these fillers. And then your fill pattern is so nice and tight, um, it's not going to show any kind of gaps. Or it won't look like there's gaps. There's definitely gaps, but it won't look as gappy. <clears throat> Pardon me. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. And Poppy. It's probably Poppy. Miss Poppy. Alright, so another little line here. Let's see where it's going to lead me. A little too much glue there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, Nicole, I'm using our uh, Fusion Tack. It's very similar to Gem Tack. You can use either one of those. You can use lots of glues, actually. Be sure to check out our glue guide that's on the site. But for this demo, it's this the easiest glue that we have, and it's one that we love to recommend, especially when you're just starting out. So now I'm going to put another filler over here, because that was too small of a spot to get one to fit. But now this one fits. And then now this 16 actually fits in the center of those 16s. So I didn't need to put two fillers. I just needed the one. So let's see if that one, that 20 is not going to quite fit. So I'm going to gently move it over, place it down, and put another 16. Oh, yes, Wendy. Yes, thank you. I pulled out my little laser cut uh, metal Japanese uh, things I bought at Nail Expo last year. So yeah, it was fun. Or the year before. I don't think I went last year. Yeah, that's a fun show to go to. But talk about a lot of people. Holy moly. I'll pass on the crowds for quite a while. Quite a while. Um, Laura, that's a good question. And definitely go do that reminder. Because if um, cause, uh, it'll come at, uh, to Susie's place and... She's buried and doing the July 4th orders right now. Uh, but once she hits that go button on the inventory, it will send you that email. So definitely sign up for those I'm out of stock notifications. And that way you get the first one because we have 15 coming and they should be arriving any day. We got the shipping notification that's on UPS ground. So that's good stuff. It is on the way. So I think my next, let's see. What's my next gap going to be? My next filler, it's a 16, it's fine. So, so far I've only used 16s, which is kind of good. Kind of good. Oh, Wendy, uh, you know what? I have a, a few masks around here, but because I don't go out anywhere, I did a demo on a mask with stones just to show different ways of doing it. But, um, yeah, I don't really care to bring more attention to myself when I, if I'm out and about. I've only gone out actually... Um, five total times since March 12th. So yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna use a smaller, I'm gonna use the, the 12s now. Right there. And right there. Now, it's definitely, in. if you like the look, you can totally use lots of smaller stones for your fillers. You could put like five or six little bitty threes but then your eye will see that. It'll see like a jumble of stones. Um, I'm using a 12 here. 
And I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that because I have to always think about, you know, the total number of stones, how long it's going to take, um, and the total of your, your, your counts and your labor. So I'm okay with using the two twelves there now. And let's see what the next row will bring us. And yes, Francesca, um, I have lots of little scratch marks in here and, um, we have these in our prep kit. We'll have a new little, um, crystal ninja little file. It's just a little nail file, but it's perfect for that, um, scratching those up, scratching those up. <clears throat> yes, for sure. Staying home. I'm blessed enough to be able to have this amazing home office. My husband built me years ago when I was just getting really big into this company. So my lights are all still here. I had to kind of steal a bunch of shelves and racks and it's kind of still on top of each other, but I'm slowly moving in permanently because it's going to be a while. Even, even if something was to happen and everything was lifted, um, we are going to be extra safe and stay home. So Susie's killing it from working from home. She has filled her garage with all of you guys' goodies and ships everything from there. She goes to the warehouse once a week to get new stuff for you guys. So that's working out great. So because I have a free edge, my I see my lines, they were not straight. I'm gonna nudge these down and now it makes more sense. Very good, very good. Awesome, so I'm gonna put one more <clears throat> Pardon me. So Cheryl, I'm I'm gonna leave these gaps because you can keep cramming in tons of the size threes and you're gonna either blow your budget, spend too much time, and it's gonna show up. It's gonna like your eye will see all of those little tiny stones a lot sooner than it would just the one stone in the middle of those lines. But it's totally up to you. You can put, you know, 25 SS threes in there if you want. I'm just showing how we do this. All right, let's see if I can get <clears throat> this last row to be how I wanted it to, to be how I imagined it. Uh, Shannon, I'm mainly using 20s right now. I've used a few 16s and I've used uh, two 12s so far. Not too shabby. And see this last row might need a filler but yeah, I'll put a 16 there. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, lots of questions, hang on, hang on. Um, let's see, uh, Latrice, if you paint the cup, what kind of paint would you use? I would suggest um, finding paints that adhere to metal. Definitely always read your requirements of the paints or the recommendations for the paints. Um, Laura, Renee's company, uh, 3330 Oak. Yeah, 3330 Oak is her company name. Yes, Marla. So adding tons of little fillers, they stick out like a sore thumb. You're exactly right. And I used to do it too. And I was like, there's got to be a better way. And it's all about having, um, it's from my mosaic days. I studied mosaics for years and years. And, um, you have to be able to read it from far. If it reads well from far, then it's going to do better close up. Okay, so now with this guy, with this last one, let's put it down here and see. Okay, that's fine. Now, of course, had I had the whole row, you'd even see more of how this works. But this is from starting from the middle and going that way, going out that way, um, and using a few fillers. And of course the glue is gonna dry nice and clear. So that's how we have it. Now I can continue because we're only at 30 minutes. So I'm gonna continue going this way and you'll see the same exact thing. It might be more fillers because it's a smaller angle than over here. So let's just see what happens. Oh, and let's just compare. So from the center line, how many rows are over here and how many are on uh, the other side? <clears throat> Miss um, Richardson, each line gets a filler, but the filler depends. That is true. It's going to, you kind of have to work out um, what size that you need as you work on that. 
Uh, Teresa, this is called Heaven Light. Sunny Gold is more uh, more saturated, more rich uh, tone of uh, gold. Um, not quite as, as soft as this. This is more like a butter yellow. Um, the Sunny Gold is more like a closer to an egg yolk, I guess, but depends on where your eggs are from. So that could be not the right comparison. Yeah. Awesome alley journey. Yeah, for sure. Yep. It just takes practice. So it's kind of good to take one tumbler and section it off like this and just do different fill patterns or different techniques of one fill pattern and that way you can see and then keep that don't strip it keep that that's your learning piece and that you can compare and show your customer here's this fill pattern um, you charge this much for this fill pattern or charge this much for this one it could be that you like to do this fill pattern more than anything and it's your least expensive one if you hate doing it like this with the fillers then charge more and that's kind of how you can guide the customer to choose what you kind of want so like I, I, I do that plenty 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 um that Rhonda that is a 20 ounce uh, plump from steel magnolia it's this one it's in the clearance section all by itself until somebody wants it it's still here 20 ounce and they have a decent weight to them, but I mean, if you're already carrying a 32 ounce tumbler full of liquid, another couple ounces is, you know, it's just going to, you know, give you some nice arms. Nice arms. Um, Samantha, it's doubtful. I mean, we ship uh, worldwide, but if you check out our friends over at Crystal Parade, um, I believe her line of Zodiac is quite similar. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, uh, Wendy or Poppy, one of you guys are on here. Um, I believe they're a glass, a line of glass. That's their edition of glass as well. So check out their Zodiac line. And please correct me if I'm incorrect. Because I've been selling people in the UK. But we do ship worldwide. But Crystal Parade does have um, all of our tools. Most of our glues. Yeah. Okay, I have a clog. Or a... Let's check. Make sure. Okay. Uh, Raina, this t the skull tumbler is actually I think it's on sale on the, on the site for uh, five or six hundred dollars. I'm not sure. It's definitely on clearance. I think my original price is closer to twelve hundred to eighteen hundred, and it's all Swarovski. But it's on clearance. It's on sale, y'all. Think of the hundreds of dollars you can save. <laughs> I mean, it's just true. It's just, I made it for a demonstration. I took it for one weekend at TumblrCon, and it's just been on my shelf. It just doesn't get, I'm, I'm not a Tumblr user. I don't go anywhere to bring a water. Oh, good, yes, yes. Uh, so if you guys see my friend Wendy, she's also on here as Charlotte Pennington. Um, they are the owners of Crystal Parade, and her Zodiac is a glass rhinestone. Very similar to Kira Kira. Yeah, cool. Yes, you have to clean out those tips. You bet. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for that link. Thank you, guys. That's my garage sale page. You can check it out. You never know what might end up in there or what's just sitting there that you don't realize it's like a screaming deal. But it's true. I do it all the time. I put some good stuff in there. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate that. We're very pleased. Very pleased with everything, especially the discussion you and I had last November. So, yeah. Here we are. All right, a 16 is going to go right there. Actually, I want to hold it over here. A Latrice, both of these are called honeycomb. They're just done in a different direction. This one starts on the bottom and goes to the top. This one starts from the center and goes down. And now I'm going center to go to the top. So just a different uh, technique of the same fill pattern. And this is a fusion tack in our... Um, Precision glue bottle. We're sold out and I'm testing a new um, flat bottle because we've had some um, We can probably improve some hand pain that some of you might be having with a different shape bottle. So 
I'm just trying some new stuff out. All right, so that fit pretty good using just one filler. Um, I did sand it. Yes, we're going to have these in our prep kits, little, um, little nail files. Yeah. That's right, Wendy. Yep. Okay, so on my next row, not sure where the, the filler is going to happen, but let's just see. Oh, I wanted to count, actually. So to my center line here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. And then over here I had uh, similar to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. See that? Nine rows on this side, ten rows on this side. So you're going to end up using more or less the tighter you get them, the closer they are. And then your count, your stone count will be different, which affects your how much you should charge. Because you're going to know your numbers. You're going to know how many stones something takes. And you're going to know how long it takes you. And you're going to know what your price should be. Not what your neighbor's price is. Not what whoever down the street is. Know your numbers. Don't price stuff off what everybody else charges. Alright, let's see where I want to put that filler. Because I know I'm going to have one. I'm going to go that direction with it. In the center of that line, <clears throat> it must be in the center. Yes, for sure. It definitely helps using our precision glue bottle. It comes with this tip. This is a bottle I'm trying out, but it's going to come with, when you see this bottle on our site, it comes with this precision tip. So that's a little bit different. And it comes with a pin to unclog it. So that's over here. So you'll always get that pin when you buy from our, with our precision glue bottle. A stone under my nail. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So now we're going to continue and see where we're going to need another filler or a smaller stone. Looks like I'm going to go on this side of the filler and put it so my zigzag will be there. Not not all one straight line, because you will see it if you make all the fillers in one angle. If you hit them with a zigzag, it's less likely that they're gonna stand out. Less likely. Why, thank you, Terry. I kind of uh, worked on that for about 10 years for you guys. <laughs> I kind of have uh, worked out the kinks, if you will. But we are looking to bring in some that have like where you can put the syringe tips on the bottles. Because um, some people want to put different, you know, larger and thinner tips, which is totally fine. So we'll have some options. My way is not the best and only way. So you can try lots of ways. Uh, let's see, that's a good question, uh, Miss Richardson. Can you store the glue away in the bottle with the tip in, keeping the glue from drying out? Yes, I never empty these bottles. Um, only reason why there's a red cap on it is because it's from this one. But when I finish with you guys today, I'm going to simply put this pin in it and keep it on my desk. That's it. I don't ever have to rinse these bottles out. My bottles are usually years old. I just keep refilling them. And I leave them laying down. I don't ever stand them up. Leave them laying down or upside down. If you have like a shot glass or a cup, something, leave them um, upside down. That way it's not, because even as you work, you always see me lay down my bottles. Many people like to stand them up, which lets the glue pull down. The gravity pulls the glue in, pulls air into this tip, drying your glue and clogging your tip. So leave it laying down. That way the wet glue stays up in here um, and it won't dry out as fast. Always laying, laying down. Laying down on the job. Uh, Sasha, this color is uh, heaven light. It's a very soft, like a Jonquil yellow. And um, has like a purple highlight to it. It's really lovely. I'm really happy with this color. Very, very happy. And so keep looking down um, as if you're looking down the barrel of the gun. And there you go. Uh, Sharon, which glue would you suggest for an animal skull 
with the Kira Kira stones. Depends on what your animal skull is made of, but the fusion tack is totally fine. Uh, Multigrab is fine. Um, since a skull is usually display only, you could, it's display only. So it's not that you don't have to like choose a, a glue for strength or durability. It's just going to be sitting on a shelf. So fusion tack is the easiest. So I'd go with that. Or gem tack. It's very, they're very similar. We're going to actually um, put some gem tack on the site very soon. And as many people want both. So we'll do that. All right, so this stone goes here. Yes, and then the 16 goes in a zigzag right there. And the next one fits perfectly there. And there. Super. You just keep making sure everything is nice and straight. Because the tables, the top facets of these stones, or any, any kind of rhinestone, that's what your eyeball sees. You want to make sure everything is going to be lined up like that to camouflage the gaps. Uh, yes, Miss uh, Rainy, yes, for sure. We're working on that for you. Um, Alexandra, it uh, you can use Fusion Tag, Multi Grab, Two Part Epoxy. It's really um, up to you. We have a nice glue guide that's on the site that shows different uh, materials, and we recommend different glues. So it all depends. Um, it's uh, Terry, not always in the middle. I mean, yes, in the middle of the line for sure, if that's what you meant. So if I'm in the, if this is the line I'm looking at, I put it in the center. I want to center that filler stone, that way it's not um, off to the top or to the bottom. I want to be in right in the middle of that row, right in the middle of this row, right in the middle of this row. Even though you see more metal because of the metal showing through, but if this was to be painted a soft um, buttery yellow or iridescent purple, you would probably not even see that, especially because this is like two inches from the lens. So... It'll be in your hand a good distance away. And then that way you don't have to concentrate on those fillers because you cannot even see them from here. And this is about 10 inches from the lens. So it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, you guys. All right. We actually have quite a few of you in here. Thank you guys for joining me today. I did not think I would have as many of you lovelies in here. But if you like what you're seeing and you're learning, go ahead and hit like and share if you don't mind. I always forget to ask. I always forget the ask. All right, nice and straight. I have a filler here. Might need, let's go ahead and continue this line out here and see what we're about to use. Probably two fillers on this, this row here. And if I could move toward the top of the screen, that might be better for you guys. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit. Okay. Super. Super duper. Okay. So let's go to this guy over here. So far, so good. Awesome, Shanta. Yeah, once you start just kind of putting them in that, um, that little zigzag kind of a pattern, you'd be surprised how it actually camouflages them just a little nicer. Nothing wrong with doing them in a line, but if you can improve, then we like to. All right, now put that guy in the center and then that's in the middle. Thank you, Wendy, I appreciate that. Super. And you guys, we are almost done with this little, little process today of showing the same fill pattern in two different techniques. Yeah. Hi, Kaya. Um, that's a good question. What is the best glue for tumblers? 
check out on our site, Crystal Ninja, we have a glue guide and find what your tumbler is made of. And then we have lots of glue suggestions. This one I'm using now is very easy to use. And we do like to use it on tumblers, but you might want something stronger. If your customer is very hard on their items, you can try the multi-grab. And for a super high-end look and feel, um, I do prefer a two-part epoxy. But we've done plenty with this glue as well. Lots and lots of things go into why we choose glues. Because many glues work on the same surface, so... All right, this one looks good. So I only had the one filler, the same, the same little one going up that little zigzag. And remember, it's best to try to zigzag them because if you have all of these little fillers, they're in a zigzag right now. But if I was to have them all in a straight line, which is, that's usually how it happens, they would stand out. You would see that from across the room, that little thin line. But if you do them in a little zigzag, it does, it, it helps camouflage them a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. Epoxy is, is fun to work with. You bet. Oh, yes, Samantha. For definite sure. Because um, the Fusion Tack, the multi-grab is what? Uh, what, 5 to $8, um, give or take. Um, if I was to do a whole cup in Super Flex, which is nearly $25 a vial, I might need two vials. That might be 50 bucks in just glue definitely charge more plus it takes longer it takes more precision um, and skill so definitely your price will change depending on what glues that you guys use yeah you bet oh uh alexandria the video on how to wash that one is the skull one is with two part but then if you see my other ones if it's a plastic tumbler that's going to be with the same exact glue the fusion fusion tag so if you're if you prep and clean properly and use these glues they're all fine for washing I'm not saying they're all fine for car washing or exterior, but um, they will ha they, they'll hold up to some washing. You just have to do all those layers um, proper. Prep is key. All right, we are so close to finishing, and I think that's great because it's perfect time for me to go take a break and eat, and then I have another, uh, I'm going to do another, um, basic class on how to get started over in Tum Tumblrlandia. So if you guys are familiar with, um, I think New Moon is the company that hosts that group. Head on over there and I'll do probably just a stripe on a flat uh, 12 ounce tumbler. Something nice and easy. Just as like an intro of the tools and the glue and And I think it's great that people do a whole tumbler as their first pit thing, but I would start smaller. I would use a, like an ID badge or a little phone grip or something, um, or like a like I'm going to do a stripe for that next class. But to do a whole tumbler is nearly a, a square foot of surface area, which is a ton to tackle when you're just starting out. So I don't recommend doing that. That's a lot of work. You're so welcome, Alexandria. No worries. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. All right, so I had to watch my, my free edge over here. It doesn't have anything to go by, so it was kind of sagging, so i got to move that in. Uh, Terry, this one, uh, that's a good question. I've had these for well over a year, um, uh, and every site has very similar ones. So if you have a, a, a stainless steel um, I believe Steel Magnolias is going to have them. Um, New Moon definitely has them. They're just like the wine tumbler. Amazon has them. Let's see here. Get in there. Perfect. Not too shabby. And it's still looking straight. I can even check my uh, straightness on how much margin is left over here. And for um, wine, if someone wants to drink from the stainless steel tumbler, then leave them a room for their lip. I probably wouldn't have even put that last row there because um, you want it to be comfortable for them to drink from. But usually these are with a lid and a little straw. Um, 
So yeah, I'd recommend always just doing a lid because it just will look more attractive if it's finished all the way out. Because I did one, gosh, I forget, over a year ago and it I stopped the the lip and this was for a demonstration oh no wait it was leftovers from when I did a cup a big tumbler for um, Gigi Hadid so I stopped that lip and it looks fine but I think it would be more attractive if I would have continued that right there because I prefer a straw but you know this was just a color kind of a test after I finished one of those tumblers so yeah fun stuff and there's even extra stones left so I could I could add that on there but that's my you know and I don't get rid of these and this is all Swarovski so it's quite a bit difference in price um, for something like this ouch and let me just throw it oh don't fall it almost fell awesome Cheryl thank you for joining me I really appreciate that and Rainy the group that I'm gonna be in later uh, is Tum Tumblr Landia. Uh, let me finish this last couple rows. I'll put it up on the other screen and let you guys see what that is. What is, oh, I'm like, what is on my screen? All right, so my phone's at 35%. We're okay. We're still good. And we are almost done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me, guys. Pardon me. And I've got quite a few of you in here. This is awesome. Thank you guys for joining me. We normally have a nice little small group of like 15 or 20, but wow, 180 of you? That's fantastic. Do me a favor and um, hit the like button if you're enjoying what I'm showing you guys today. And then if you really love it, share it. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Awesome, Massachusetts. Oh, thank you for joining. I appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yes, I sure did, uh, Terry. I have a brand new screen. I was completely under warranty, so I don't have to pay anything. It was fantastic. <clears throat> Except I have to, I'm still um, syncing my phone with all of the, you know, gigs of videos and information. See, that's not going to fit. I'm, like, I'm going to remove that one. Um, because I was a bit disappointed with the tech. Um, he wanted my password. And I'm like, wait, it's a screen replacement. Why do you need my password? And he mentioned, Samsung needs it, um, you know, for the something. And I was like, well, I don't believe that one bit, but I'm not going to, you know, complain because I really needed this phone fixed and I didn't want to upset anybody. So I was like, oh, okay, well, let me have my phone back. And I reset it to the factory um, default, whatever. So now I have to resync all my stuff, which thank goodness it was backed up. But I was like, no. Um, I have company information in this phone. This is a huge part of my company, and I'm not having anybody to dig around. I'm not having anybody get into my contacts and then be prank calling Lady Gaga. Like, I have some serious phone numbers in this phone, and I'm not giving that to any kid to realize who I am after the fact and then goes digging around in my stuff. So, no, here you go. Here's a blank phone. Go work on that. He couldn't believe I deleted it. I'm like, there you go. You ain't getting my stuff, dude. My client protection is huge I let nobody into these numbers all right so my little zigzag is working there's my filler stones and that's our last row last one I'm gonna put a filler here because I could feel that it wasn't gonna fit there and there we go there we are, and then I left a hole for Y. Is that gonna fit? Yes, sure did. <clears throat> Excuse me. And last one, okay. So, there you are. So you've got fillers, we started from the middle. On this one, we went down to complete this line, and then we went from the center this way to get smaller so everything gets a little smaller yes Laura it totally I, I I I definitely compare the information in my phone to a HIPAA for sure and if you guys are familiar that's a medical I don't know the the whole what HIPAA stands for but 
um, you can't share any thing from a patient so I don't share any of my customer information and we have lots of projects like I don't need my phone getting on TMZ I don't need that on there no okay um, so and we ended up there so start from the center on this technique this one starts from the bottom and goes up uh, Jen these are SS20 in heaven light is the color heaven light uh, Kaya, I do have um, my tutorial on ombre is on the Crystal Ninja Dojo. So find our classes section on Crystal Ninja and you'll find um, that website. It's a separate website that we have our um, classes. Some are paid, some are for free. And um, even sometimes when I film these, I might be able to save it if it's at high enough resolution. Then I can upload that to um, the dojo. So yeah, you'll see sometimes similar classes there. Awesome, you guys. What do you think? Not too bad, not too bad. Let me put it the right way up. And let me turn off the sparkly light because you might even be able to see when you have your light filtered, like with the ot light or something, there's no sparkles. You can see the placement a little nicer of where the fillers are. There you go. So this is a super nice fill with no fillers. And this is an even nicer, more high-end, luxurious look with plenty of fillers. I'm trying to get that glare so you can see and they're in a zigzag, not in a straight line. And that's how I did that. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Uh, Fatima says, uh, question, I had the other glue and makes the crystals opaque. Um, you might have a little too much glue. Which glue are you um, referring to? Because sometimes if you get even this glue on top of the stones, it's it's going to cover them and you don't want that. You want, it's kind of a happy medium between too much glue and not enough. So a little, little practice, a little practice. Yeah. Yeah, you betcha. Awesome. All right. Wow, we've got quite a few more follow or, uh, watchers. That's great. Thank you, guys. Okay. And so that was or showed... I showed lots of stuff today. What else? What other questions do we have? I can do... Oh, I was going to show you guys um, the group I'll be in uh, at 4 o'clock today. One second. Let's see. Come back. Facebook. Go out of here. So, Dana owns... Yeah, Tumblr Landia. So, if you find a group that looks like this, be sure to answer the questions to get in. And I'll be live in there at 4 o'clock. Um, I have an event if there's one that shows um, my little thing, or maybe not. Um, let's see. I thought I had a little graphic in here. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, you'll see this graphic, and that's where I'll be live. It's an, e an event, or search my name in that group, and then you'll see, um, just search for Kelly DeFries, and you'll see that. So, I'll be doing the basics um, in that group at 4 o'clock today, or 7 p.m. Eastern, so... All right, you guys, I'm going to sign off before my devices get too hot and then I won't be able to save the um, live to be able to post later. And I appreciate you guys for all your time. Let me get back to the feed in case I'm missing some questions. Here we go. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Tabitha. I appreciate that. Yes, for sure. Yeah, you bet. Whoa, what happened? I'm don't want that. There we go. And let's see. Awesome. Okay, very good. So I may have missed some questions. I'll try to go back later and answer those in the comments and stuff. Um, but there you go. So that's the honeycomb fill and two different techniques. But still, it's the same. So there's lots of, lots of different ways. Oh, and we also showed the new little color chips that we have on the site to um, do some color sampling of your colors to show you know how what colors look like when they're all together and then you can also do square inches that's what these are for so you have one by one clear acrylic um, on the site so that's a new a new thing and awesome thank you poppy and wendy appreciate you guys and that is it and that's my new bottle i'm testing out i hope to bring that over soon it's a little bit more comfortable um, if you have hand pain and um, there you go awesome Kira thank you I appreciate that I'm glad you guys enjoyed it 
I'm happy that so many of you dropped in. I appreciate that. But I'm going to have to turn off now. I'll see you guys soon.